Hi, this is Carlson here, and I want to introduce you guys to my new tractor, Red Stag, that I built. Are we really going to do the whole video in the Kermit the Frog voice? Well, no, it's just, you know, some of this tractor content can be a little dry, so I'm trying to add some humor. Well, why don't we instead, you know, do it in, like, a dirty German voice, so we can make all kinds of jokes about, you know, like, pools and drilling. Or, or, maybe we can impersonate some, uh, famous YouTubers and kind of poke fun at people. You son of a bitch, I'm in. So, here's my $300 tractor with a blown-up governor that I was going to turn into my creepy crawler rusty copy. But, well, it turns out the governor was just fine and it was out of adjustment, so I turned it into a mower. But... For $125, I found this piece of crap, 1969 Raider 12 with a snowblower engine that at least had a transmission with inch and an eighth axles, so I figured that'd be a perfect build start. So one great feature about this mud mower is the rear storage trunk. So when you're out on the trail and one of your buddies gets stuck, you can just whip out your tow strap and tow them to safety. Hello, YouTubers. One pesky little problem with these wheel horse chassis is that the lower two mounting points on the frame where the unit drive bolts up over time tend to crack and bend the plate. So I've created the dock brace where I connect those two mounting holes on the transmission directly to the frame, triangulating the rear section and making it super strong and stiff. Now, I'm not running a skid plate on my tractor, per se, but this trans brace also works great as rock sliders to slide my tractor up and over obstacles. Hey, you too. Mr. Crawler here. Sorry for chiming in kind of late on Red Stag here, but wanted to talk about these bumpers. Real simple. Tucked in nice and tight to the machine, and you can get a, your hand on them if you need uh, help getting over an obstacle. And also got a real basic tow hook mounted on there just to throw a strap on if you need to pull out. I want to talk to you guys about hill climbing. You see these guys going right up hills. You know, they had a little help. You know, that's not all them. So we got two gallons of RV antifreeze in each front tire. And a 12 pound weight. And that's keeping the front end under control. Just like we are doing in Afghanistan. And we're back as Carlson to talk about some of my favorite features. I really like this slip-on muffler from eBay. I think it sounds great, especially when the motor is under load. I'm running a 5-inch engine pulley, a 5-inch transmission pulley, and they are both holy pulleys, which perform great in sandy, muddy water. My gas pedal is a simple piece of angle iron with a nice positive stop with some slots cut into it with a round file so my boot doesn't slip off. I've added a brake pedal from a mid-70s C-series onto this chassis because I wanted a simpler clutch design and I also wanted to be able to stop on a hill and be able to get going safely again. I'm using a pit bike clutch cable with a center adjuster that gives me nice adjustability to the factory throttle plate, which has been modified to work with a deleted governor system. So it's connected directly to the carburetor butterfly. That is a 135 degree, two and a half inch intercooler elbow from eBay to get my air cleaner up and out of the way of the mud and water. I'm using a Honda OEM choke cable stay to get the choke to operate from the dash. I am using a short section of flexible steel cable to connect a throttle cable to the throttle plate so that way I can set a high idle when I'm driving but then it won't interfere with the gas pedal operation. So basically if you're going to do this, just start with a 70s C-Series wheel horse because I've changed out the dash to that so I can get the nice levers and I've added the parking brake, which is another nice feature to have when you're warming up the engine. Um, one thing I like to do is to rip out the ammeter and put in a voltmeter. Um, it's just kind of my preference. And then I add in the safety lanyard 
um, which is required for top tractor challenge, but it's also just a good feature to have when you're doing some sketchy hill shit.